be wrong, she wasn't always grey. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Okay. Good afternoon again. Passing. So we boys Alright, castle for it. First take. than me so hopefully they'll be in yeah 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 okay we're going bit of close quarters action It? Yeah, we thought we were going to be really motoring back. Yep, but, but we got halfway across and the wind's finally turned up. But so that means we're going to have the joyful sound. We're going to have this sound. Yay! That is to me such a joyful sound. It's close up with the song of departure when the um, AC flap comes crashing down. I was going to say. Doing, 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 doing. That's my other joyful sound, yes. which is uh, when the AC cable goes out. Yeah, I don't know if they'll hear it from over there, but here's the, here's the song of departure coming up. Yeah. <laughs> That's my other joyful sound. It means that... You're unplugged from shore. Yeah, we're yeah. unplugged and that is just brilliant. Oh, oh isn't this better? Oh, thousands times, times better. better. The only um, issue we've got at the moment is uh, we're having to uh, keep the fridge off. Oh yeah, the darn fridge. So why are we having to keep the fridge off, Bev? Because it's knackered. Well, this is our uh, little fridge unit and um, Beverly, who has got hearing that is absolutely fantastic, um, can hear that the um fan starts but the compressor doesn't or is it the other way around Bev? no no the compressor starts but the then it gives up but the fan keeps going so what actually happens is um as i say they both start um and you can hear the uh compressor going and you can hear the fan and then all of a sudden only after a short period the compressor stops but the fan keeps on going so um, that's what's happening with our fridge at the moment. Um, if the compressor does actually fire off, it drops the voltage by at least one volt. There's it starting again. Compressor's on, fan's on. The compressor is still going. And there it just stopped. So it's very subtle, um, but hopefully we've got a good clip uh, of sound so that you can hear the subtle differences. Yeah. If, it's, if it doesn't have full fat AC mains power and full fat solar all at the same time, everything else in the boat turned off, yeah. then the fridge doesn't work. Everything, uh, everything else in the boat is absolutely fine. Just the fridge. Yeah. So... Uh, that is now on our shopping list, isn't it, Bev? Okay, before anybody asks, 
we have tested the cable to the fridge. Um, there's no corrosion, there is no resistance in the cable. Sophie lost her VTS, be quiet for a minute. <laughs> anyway, so there's no resistance in the cable, so there's no corrosion in the cable. The voltages are the same everywhere through the panel and the cables. All the meters in the boat read the same voltage. The batteries read 12.75 resting voltage yeah. when they're not connected to chargers and things. So everything is as it should be. But when the compressor comes on, zoom, the voltage goes down by a volt and a half or something like that. It's not the fan on the cooler, because we've tried it with the fan disconnected as well. It makes no difference. So Please. basically the only thing that is left to be taken out is the compressor itself. Yeah. So guess what's going to happen? So that is something that's on our shopping list at the moment. Um, but um, one of the things that we found interesting when we were actually um, looking at all the wiring and things like that, and um, you find something interesting with wires. I'm an electrical engineer. Of course, I find it interesting. I'm gonna look over the side. You carry on. <laughs> Was um, the voltage? We're gonna have to do something with that sail. Sorry. Yeah, sheet it in. Here you go. Back to sheeting. That's looking more like it. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Don't pull the mask down. My telltales are uh, more respectable looking. Yes. Are uh, up. to come around a bit then I can shape our course more easterly and that would be perfect. Oh right. Beverly loves the perfect sail. Oh he doesn't really I mean come on. <laughs> I like the sail. Beverly is now just pulling the traveller across because that will just um, get us a few more inches. Inches? <laughs> We're now to fall off now Bev. Well the wind could be turning actually because the wind's all over the place in here at the minute. Yeah. Oh, turn the autopilot off now, just just shape us that way a bit more, and we might just have to tack up the lock. <sighs> there, there. Wind's dropping actually quite significantly. Um, oh, it's coming back. Yeah, but don't forget we have a dead dead zone. Yeah, but that should be behind us by now. I would have thought. Yeah, but it can change just because of the things we have in uh, Belfast Lock. You get a, what I call the dead zone right in the middle, and uh, it's because you get uh, two. Um, landward breezes and of course they pose <laughs> somewhere in the middle <laughs> but we're sailing again thank goodness yeah winds come back up yay i can bring us round quite a bit now actually well anyway back to wiring and what i found interesting was um we had 12.7 volts at the um battery but when we looked at the voltage at the fridge, it was about 12.2, um, wasn't it, Bab? It, it lost about half a volt. It, which is a huge amount. And we thought it was due to corrosion. Um, so we did um, an inspection of all the wires, corrosion. We did a ohm test, basically, across the wires and um, they had no resistance so no corrosion there but um, what it was is the fact that um, when the lights are on in the boat uh, a voltage is dropped across the lights yeah about half a volt it turns out about yeah which is surprising <laughs> really <laughs> turn everything off and all of a sudden everything in the boat has the same voltage yeah so um what we're uh, having to do now this is, very fluky. is uh, just make sure that the lights are off <laughs> just so that the fridge can keep going yeah but because we've got instruments on at the moment which is again dropping the voltage autopilot. um autopilot's on all that sort of stuff the fridge is low voltage cutoff just kicks in i didn't used to do this so we think that um you think it's just knackered yep so whoa <sighs> But Beverly is getting her helm time now. I am. That's great. <laughs>
Right, so just wind down your turns. Let me know when you're ready. And I've just realised I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, you've got to pull yourself up, haven't you? I've got to pull myself up. Okay, you ready? Not yet. Yeah, I'm ready now. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Coming around like a beauty, isn't she? Right, so we're going to head somewhere towards the fairway to start off with. There we go. Give it more up here. So I'll, I'll, I'll come out of the turn here early. So it'll give you time to get the seal well, well in. Plus, I need to get the bit in the middle done. Yeah, oh, the traveller. looking good. Yeah. Haven't got all my towel towels up though. Yeah, I'll bring it around a bit more. Like I say, I'll let her fall off the wind a bit. The forward ones are all right. There, so. they're starting to lift. Look, look, there they go. That's looking better. I'll just give this a quick kick. And lift that up a bit. You can leave it fairly loose, the seal's holding everything up. Oh, I know that, but. <sighs> well, that's not looking too bad. Yeah. We're moving very slowly, but we're moving. Yeah, well that's okay, that's acceptable. The aim is to sail, Bev. True. And sailing, let's be honest. Oh, sorry, I looked away from the uh, boat. So we all know what happens. Yes. Right, there we go. So what Beverly is doing at the moment is she is doing a, using a technique called pinching. Very much so. So, what we're doing is... Um, we're as close to the wind as we can, by <laughs> yeah. right up there. So, we're very, very close hauled. Um, but, um, obviously, when you get a little bit too close hauled, the uh, Genoa starts to flop about. Yeah. So, what we do then is we fall off. And then you pull her back in to be as close hauled as possible, and then you fall off. And that's what the technique of pinching is all about. Um, if you can sail without pinching, it does make life a lot better, which is what I was doing uh, going over to Carrick. But we need to be as close hauled as we can, really, yeah. for the um, uh, where we want to go. So uh, that's why we're pinching. Okay, you're for the far internal corner. Okay, 
and get through the stern first of the trade, yeah? That went very well, actually. I'll come forward, I'll come forward. It's alright, I've got it, so I'll come down. I'll still get the phone. 